All right, y'all. I need to. I need to talk about this. So just, man, this is so crazy. Like, bro, this is so crazy, bro. I don't even know why I got my door open. Look, look at my door. Look for a second. Rams Nation, we in this thing. Rams Nation, we in this thing. All right, man. I got to talk about this because this is super crazy. Like, the media, wall dog, ESPN is crazy. ESPN has a agenda. They have a Clippers propaganda. Just bear with me now. Jay Williams said if Kawhi joins the Lakers with LeBron and AD, it'll be the weakest move ever. But he supported Kevin Durant going to, um, going to, uh, what was that? Uh, to, to the uh, Warriors. Like, how can you criticize that? That's crazy. So all these other teams get have their big three, but when the Lakers do it, oh, it's the wackiest thing ever. Nah, y'all need to cut it out. Y'all being real Fugazi right now. Super Fugazi. Wojnowski, he's another one. I got respect for him, but he's pissing me off. Okay, so he's been saying all this time the Lakers had no chance of even getting a meeting with Kawhi. That's what he was saying, okay? So then he went from, oh, the Lakers, I uh, mean, the uh, Kawhi is only going to, it's going to only come down between the Raptors and the Clippers. And that was his first thing. Then he said it's going to come be down between the Raptors and the SoCal, uh, uh, and SoCal. That's how he labeled it. He didn't say Clippers and Lakers. He just said SoCal. But if it was just the Clippers, he would have said the Clippers. If he would have said the Clippers. Like, he doesn't say the Lakers. That's that's the point that I'm trying to say. Like, anytime it has anything to do with the Lakers, like, he be hating. Like, I don't know what his agenda is. I got to look it up. Because it, it has, I know he's connected to some agency that somehow is connected to people within the Clippers organization. I'm not even trying to make the help. I'm just saying what it is. So, like, this is crazy. Like, y'all need to stop this. The Clippers will always be little bruh. No matter what. The Clippers will always be little bruh no matter what. Like, why would you want to play for the Clippers? Or why would you want to play for the Mets where you could play for the Yankees? It's about legacy. Legacy. Like, if you're gonna if you're gonna play in New York, um and obviously I know that's a uh baseball team, but I'm just saying, like, if you're gonna play basketball in New York, you're gonna play play for the Knicks. Don't play for the Nets. I get it that it's James Dolan, but we're talking about legacy, dog. Legacy. Stop trying to upgrade the little bro. Little bro need to upgrade through uh through the uh, draft. Instead of getting all these big time ages. It didn't work. The Clippers had uh, CP3, Blake Griffin, DeAndre Jordan. Remember? Lob City. Y'all was loving that. They never made it past the second round together. Even when they was healthy. Nah, we not doing that. Y'all jealous because the Lakers are this close to coming back. Kawhi, come on down to the Lakers, man. Shock the whole world. If you're not going to stay in the East, if you really want to come down West, come with the Lakers, man. Straight up. Straight up. I'm just keeping it real. I'm just keeping it real. I'm just keeping it real. There's a whole lot of fugaziness going down, man. But this is going to be entertaining nevertheless because free agency is tomorrow. This is crazy.